Welcome ladies and gentlemen, today we are playing another indie horror game. This is Home Safety Hotline, where we'll be playing an analog horror inspired telephone operator simulator. That's a mouthful. Yeah. Um, where I'll be using the latest in 90s technology. Look, you can see here down at the, uh, <laughs> I assume in Windows 95, um, the 1996 uh, timeline here. We've got the Discord, which we won't have a look at. We can wishlist this game on Steam. This is a demo. Uh, we've got the credits, uh, television commercial, and the actual demo itself. So let's just jump in. Yeah, so we're going to be playing an operator. And uh, we're going to be trying to save some people. Some of their queries may be normal. Some, maybe not so much. Welcome, employee. To begin shift, please clock in below. Click. Being paid by the hour, right? So we've got no entry section. We got some, uh, we got the bees, not the bees. Description, bees are small flying insects known to build large hives, structures in high places, often in trees, attics, or roofs. Homeowners infested with bees sometimes report buzzing stings. That's... Oh yeah, you got that really crappy sort of MIDI file going on here. We've got a call, let's answer. I'm on the clock now. Hi, Carol. My name is Carol, and I'll be acting as your supervisor during your time here at HSH. Before you begin your first day here, let me tell you a bit about how things work here. You are an HSH responder. As such, it is your job to learn about various household hazards so you can answer the questions of our callers intelligently. When a client calls, answer the call and listen carefully to their concerns. When you've diagnosed their issue, submit the corresponding household hazard and we'll forward them safety instructions to address their problem. Welcome to the HSH family. I'm sure we'll talk again soon. I'm sure we will, Carol. You've got a good smile and the kind of business suit that says, hey, I'm a professional. You can come to me with your problems. But there's something else about you, Carol. There's something else that I don't trust. And I think that's to say, hey, don't actually come to me with your problems. I don't care. Um, right, so we've got some black mold. So I'm guessing people are going to call up and we're going to have to um, diagnose from what they're saying. So what we've got, carpenter ants, okay. Uh, cockroaches, oh. Let's see. Hello, caller. Hello, John. John here. My wife insisted I call this number. It sounds like she thinks we might have some kind of infestation. My wife keeps telling me about specks of dirt or something in the kitchen. Just looks like coughing to me. I don't know. You tell me, I guess. Hmm. We're gonna put you on hold while we have Please a look hold. here. Well, this is some cool elevator jazz music. Uh, we're gonna gopher. Gophers are small brown furry mammals with large front teeth, commonly damaging gardens. This is in the kitchen, so we need to find. What about house flies? Um, residing home, owners afflicted with flies, can we report buzzing sounds and sighting droppings that appear similar to specks of pepper? He did say specks of dirt or something in the kitchen, right? It's not going to be a spider. Oh, I don't know what just happened there, but we've got mice, we've got mole, and that's, oh no, we've got termites and we've got ticks. So. Out of these, I was going to go with black mold, but black mold you usually kind of get in um, in bathrooms, right? What about the cockroaches? Report seen droppings that appear similar to coffee grounds. Yeah. Okay. So we can submit our answer here. It's the cockroach. Info successfully sent to client. Good job. Okay, so not bad. So we, we've seen there's a lot that there's a lot here that we need to unlock. Um, but I'm assuming those will happen as the game goes on. This is just a demo, so I wonder how much we'll be able to do. Um, but next caller. Hey, Hank. here. Last week I called you guys about some crap in my yard, and I was told it wasn't anything to worry about. Well, guess what? There's more piles of crap in my yard. I'm talking huge <laughs> piles of brown out there. You better not tell me it's nothing again, because I know I've seen something moving out there. Tell me what it is so I can take care of it once and for all. Just going to put you on hold, please, Hank. Please hold. So, we did see some gophers, right? 
Um, description, gophers are small brown furry mammals with enlarged front teeth that are known for living in burrows. They can become a pest to homeowners when they choose the burrow on their property, commonly damaging gardens. Uh, and he was saying, well guess what, there's piles of crap in my yard. Gophers are capable of biting humans and spreading deadly diseases. I don't think it's a gopher. There was something, mole, let's try the mole. Look at that cute little guy. Look at his little face. Look at his little little claws. Uh, oh, this is... It says mice are small, but okay. Uh, their burrows tend to look like volcano-shaped mounds. Yeah. I'm thinking it's the mole. We're going to go with the mole. I'm, a, I, I'm enjoying this. It's oddly therapeutic in a certain way. That could just be the jazz music, though. That could be the elevated music. Info successfully set. So I'm not actually sure if I'm getting these right or not. Because that could have... It could have been... It could have been the other thing that I now... The gopher. It could have been the gopher. So I don't know if they're going to let me know that I got my... My correct... Did I get it correct? Did I get it wrong? But we don't have time to think about these things because we've got an, an ex-school coming in. It's Gary. It's in my bedroom right now. It's watching me. I, I think it wants something from me. It's coming closer. It's coming for me. Oh, God! Sorry, Gary. You, you've got to give me something to work with here. I can't. I can't help you if you can't. If you don't give me something to work with. Um, so yeah, I'm guessing the the kind of element the horror factor is going to increase with people calling up with different things like Gary there. Unfortunately, I don't think Gary's going to make it through the night. Um, let's take another call, I guess. Hi, Grace. Hi, I'm so sorry. My name is Grace and it's probably nothing, but I thought I'd call just in case. Sure thing. Lately, I can't sleep at night because of this annoying little sound coming from my attic. Uh, it sounds kind of like, e e e e e you know, it, it's probably nothing. I'm sure it could just be regular old house noises, but I just thought I'd call to ask and make sure. I'm just going to put you on hold for a second, Grace, while I look into this for you. Please hold. Um, that would me, to me, sounds like mice, right? And she was like, ee, ee, squeaking. Yeah, I don't think, I don't think there's any, or well, let's just have a look at termites, because she says it's in the wall. Yeah, termites don't make a squeaking sound. I'm fairly confident it's going to be the mouse. Uh, I'm just going to have a quick look. Yeah, it's got to be the mouse. Come on, then. Oh, what does that mean? Oh, sorry. I didn't select the... Uh, I was going to the wrong thing. It's mice. you got mice in your walls, Grace. You've got to get that sorted out. You've got to get an exterminator in. I'm just giving you the information. I'm just giving you the information. You have to do the job. I can't do it all for you. I wish I could, but I'm sat behind a desk and I'm just giving you the information. So let's carry on. Um, yeah. Yeah, I wonder how this is going to go forward. I wonder if the calls are going to get... Well, well they're, they're coming. <laughs> they don't give you much time to think about anything. Okay. Buzz Goober here. Buzz Goober. Okay. Things are taking a turn for the surreal. Okay, Buzz, uh, I'm sorry that we haven't been able to help you on this particular instance, but there is a complaints form. There's a website you can go to. I'm just going to direct that to you, but no, I'm just going to close the call. Uh, Buzz didn't look good as well. Uh, I'm taking it as well that all these are kind of like stock uh, images of, you know, people, and they've just kind of, um, they've just kind of uh, reshaped them um, to make it look a little, little, little bit realistic, you know? Um Let's get take another call, yeah, why not? Hey, do you guys have a lawn mowing service or something? My good for nothing kid refuses to mow and it's getting real crazy out there. Looking like a rainforest over here. 
My kid is complaining about being too sick to do anything about it. Meh, 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 meh. The stress of this stupid lawn's giving me a headache just thinking about it. Can you guys can you send some guys up to get this done? Okay, Tim. Uh, we're going to put in hold for a second while I just uh, look into your uh, query. Um, the fact that he was... Okay, my good-for-nothing kid refuses to mow and is getting real crazy out there, looking like a rainforest. So, we don't supply lawnmowers. You've come to the wrong place. We're not Home Depot here. We're not B&Q. We don't have that kind of shit that we're selling here. What I'm giving you is information, Tim. Um, but the information that you've given me is kind of helpful. You're saying your kid is sick. In the garden. I'm thinking ticks or termites. Let's have a look. Ticks are very small arachnids known to feed on human or animal blood and spread deadly diseases. They latch onto their hosts, often unseen, and burrow their head into the flesh of their victims. Hosts will often report symptoms of illness such as fevers, headaches, and chills. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, this could be why your son is ill and can't do the lawn mowing, but let's just have a look at her. I just want to have a look at termites. Uh... Homeowners with termites doesn't have a painting paint. That's the more kind of the wood-based things. Let's just see what else we have here. Mole. I mean, the mole and the, the gopher were quite similar, weren't they? Yeah, I, do you know what? Let's just try the house spider. I know this isn't going to be right, but... No. No, 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 no. It's not the house spider. Yeah, I'm thinking the tick. I'm thinking Tim. Although you look very sad, my friend. I think you've given us the information here. Your kid is sick. He's been infected by some ticks. That's given him, you know, some headaches and some chills. He can't do the lawn mowing. We don't provide the lawn mowing service, so... Yeah, I think I think we're good with the ticks. Um... I'm quite intrigued to see if I did get it wrong. If it would, it would, if it would say that, you know, the information was sent, but however... Ah, they didn't get it or something. I kind of want to get one of them wrong just to find out, but the that the customer serviceness in me forbids it. Forbids it. I need to I need to give these people the right information. They're calling up this hotline. It's probably costing them like you know two dollars a, a second. So we've got to get this sorted out. Another call. Oh, it's Carol. Hey, Carol. Hello. Household hazard information. Ooh. Please be aware that this information is confidential. Of course, Carol. Of course, Carol. Of I'm a professional. If you diagnose one of these I would hazards, never. We will be providing only information to the I would never do that, Carol. To addressing their concerns. You obviously don't more. know me well Thank enough. You. I think we're going to have to... You know how we're going to nip this in the bud, Carol? We're going to have to go for a few drinks after work. That's the best way to get to know someone in a work environment place, Okay. And plus, you're wearing a little amulet around it. I like it. I want to find out the details about it. I want to find out your story, Carol. But hey, what does that mean? Permissions have been updated. New entries now. Oh, that, that's not permissions. Just, you just give me more work now. So we have the bat. Okay. It's the 90s. The pages had to load quite, you know. I, I was actually quite surprised we didn't have the dial-up modem coming in. We don't have time. We've got another call coming through. I mean, paid by the hour. Okay, Dan, we're just going to put you in hold for two seconds because there's a lot going on here that I need to... A, you're shouting at me, Bob. Uh, Dan, sorry. And, you know, we don't sell security here. I just give you information. Uh, so what have you told me? I need home security. Someone's breaking into my house and going through my stuff at night. We're not a therapy set. I mean, we're not the police. Why are you calling through to me, Dan? It's not going to be carbon monoxide. Carbon monoxide is carbon monoxide. So it's not going to be that. What's what new? Common hob. What, like the... Oh, I see. We're getting into kind of monster territory now. I like it. Common hobs are the most common species of hob found in the household. They are small humanoid creatures with grey, burlap-like skin and small vertical tufts of hair on their head. Look at that little cute guy. They have no false face. As opposed to a true false face? They are known for their tendency to consume dust, dirt and common sticky substances found on floors and dishes, cleaning them in the process. They generally only come out at night. Hmm... Okay, and then we have a desk hob as well. Desk hobs are a subspecies of hob that are known to inhabit desks, vanities, and other similar structures. They regularly like to tidy their homes and will frequently sort and order materials in the desks to their liking. 
They are physically similar to other hobs, but are generally mo much smaller and have raspy, loose hair. They do not bear a false face. I don't like this false face thing. It's giving me like a... Uh... But then we've got a feast as well. What? Feasts are mid to large sized piles of various edible food substances, frequently including flour, cornmeal, and various species of fungi. They are known to appear in the eaten areas of the home. What? Feasts are not dangerous if consumed, but if left untouched, they can provoke more dangerous activity, or else its continued presence can attract other household pests, such as cockroaches or carpenter ants. So you're just saying one of these middling like creatures is just like flour? This is strange. Uh, false beat. False beets are creatures with a beet-like appearance that are known to trick gardeners into harvesting and eating them by this. Wow. Okay, so we're we're getting into it now. Frozen pipes, with it, which I just guessed. Frozen pipes. Yeah. Uh, house fires, which I think is you know yeah. Lamp sprite. What does lamp sprite do? Wow. Common substitutes of sprite that make their homes inside lamp fixtures. They are known for causing the lamps they have to flicker or burn hotter, sometimes causing a burning smell in the home. Well, Dan hasn't been... Do we have anything else? Yeah, we have the stair slug. Guys, you don't want to get yourselves a stair slug. That's the worst. Large dockside slugs that are commonly known to occupy stairwells and basements. Homeowners infested with stair slugs commonly report a slimy residue on steps or other... Are they dangerous, though? Oh. Okay. I mean, that's a big slug. And I want to hear the audio sample here. I guess... It's not gonna, it's just a slug, right? Yeah. Okay, so what, here's what I'm thinking. He's accusing Bob of stealing his stuff. So it's one of the hobs, right? Because they're like cleaning up things. I think it's a common hob. Yeah, they have no, they are known for their tendency to consume dust, dirt and common sticky substances around floors or dishes, cleaning them in the process. Where did he say? Someone's breaking into my house and going through my stuff at night. No, I think you've got a desk hob. Yeah, because these little critters they go through your vanities and other similar, and that's what he's going through my papers. Yeah, I think I think we're good with the uh, desk hob. Let's go with it. I mean, I could be completely wrong, and I have no idea of knowing if that's the right creature that I'm giving to Dan there. But I mean, I guess if it was wrong, I'd get something else. Who knows? Yeah, this is really interesting. Oh, and we got wood secretions. I didn't see that one there. Wood secretions are a pink, viscous liquid substance can sometimes form from wood that has been mistreated. Unfortunately, we can't. We can't we've got to get to the caller. You got those SLAs that I need to, you know. Got to. Oh. Sorry, I'm uh, uh, calling to see if you might know about anything I can do to. <laughs> Sneezing, eh? Sorry. Uh, anything you can do to uh, prevent pollen from coming in the house? I think there's something seriously wrong with my ventilation or something, because I cannot stop sneezing. Uh, hmm. In the past, I haven't had problems so long as I've stayed inside, but I think something is getting in. Okay, Mike. Uh, nothing that I've heard. It's not going to be bats, or it's not going to be any black mold. Hang on. Musty smell, allergic reactions, or breathing problems. Yeah, it can't be. It's not. Could it be carbon monoxide? No, carbon monoxide would make you no. You just die, basically. That's headaches and dizziness. He was sneezing. Yeah, carbon ants, cockroaches, all these other ones. Yeah, no, no. It's it's, it's the uh, it's the black mold. Always be careful of mold, guys. Always clean those bathrooms, you know? That's where they're commonly found, because you don't clean up after yourselves, you dirty, dirty people, you. Yeah, I am Oh, wow, going right back into it, okay. Hunnigan. Do you know if there's such a thing as house thieves that clean? Like, maybe to disguise the robbery? At night, I keep hearing all this noise coming from my living room, but when I go look at it, I find the place spotless, but haven't yet found anything missing. I've talked with the cops, but they keep telling me to call this number. So here I am. Is there something you can do? There is something I can do, Hunnigan, because I know exactly what you need. I don't even need to put you on hold. That is your common hob. Yes, sir. -y. Your common hob. 
just licks up all that dirt, makes your place look spanking clean new. And that's what you want, yeah? There you go, Hunnigan. Don't even, look, my SLAs are going through the roof. The roof? The roof. The roof. It's weird when you say roof so many times. Roof. Roof. Sounds like you're barking. Anyway, um, yeah, no, I'm enjoying this. Um, I just wonder if how, because we still have quite a lot of stuff that we haven't accessed yet. Fred Pimble, eh? Ah, oh, come on, Fred. I have never seen such a big old mess left behind by your pest control team. Just tons of twigs, sticks, and pebbles. So I hmm. ain't putting up with it no more. I got sawdust coming out of my drawers here. I had to grab you by the goober and smack you around till next Sunday. <laughs> oh, what's it gonna do? What's it gonna do to make this right? I ought to grab you by the goober. <laughs> I'm enjoying the humor here. I'm going to grab you by the goober and smack you around till next Sunday. Now, what you gonna do? I'm wondering if some of these characters are coming back, though. Um, hmm. Yeah, yeah, but there we go. That's, uh, yeah, we've got quite a few that we haven't been able to access yet. Hey, Carol. Hello, employee. Supervisor Carol here, letting you know that your trial employment period here has ended. No, Carol! I was just getting started. Strictly confidential. Of course. Do not tell anyone what you have learned here today. Our eyes rest upon me. <laughs> we hope to work with you again soon. Wow, our eyes rest upon thee. So, Carol, you're involved in this somehow, huh? Well, I hope to work with you again, Carol. Yes, in the near future. That could be the case. Oh, that looks like we have a trailer here. You are a phone operator. You answer the calls. We helped out, John. Yeah, well, I think we did. And Grace. Every year, thousands of families suffer injuries or even death. Oh, couldn't get to the end of that one. And there you go, guys. That was Home Safety Hotline. Just the demo. Um, I actually really enjoyed that. I thought it had the great mix of the humor with the kind of surrealism that was also going on. Um, yeah, I enjoyed playing the kind of operator on the channel here. Um, I, I, you know, a lot of people probably have had like customer service jobs in the past. I know I certainly have. And uh, yeah. Some of those are quite relatable to people just like phoning up, being all kind of like just just venting because on the phone it's easier to vent than in person. Um, but yeah, I mean the only the only thing I can sort of I, could the, could the repetition become too much in regards of you know I hope they add more, i.e. you know when you have your kind of like main desktop here, there's going to be other items like that you can use, or there's going to be different things that you'll be able to like, someone will call through with a different problem, not just being able to kind of say, hey, this is the cause of your problem. Here's a spreadsheet. Another thing that I also noticed, I didn't know if I was getting them right or wrong. I don't know if that's just the kind of case of you could just send through anything and you know, whether you get like uh, berated for it, if you give them the wrong thing. I mean, I'm assuming I got all those things right. I'm quite, I'm quite intrigued to try and do that demo again and just try and get them all wrong. Just send through the wrong things and see if there are. And I think I might do that, do that just now, just to see. Uh, I'll obviously cut this uh, and just come back with if there's something, another message that Carol sends through. Um, so yeah, just bear with me for two seconds. As I just found a family of mice in my attic. I'm so sorry. I'm sure you folks get really busy and mistakes happen. Just thought I'd give you a, a tap and let you know. Okay, so that's, it is interesting. So far, I've just been giving everyone bees. Bees are the problem to... Oh. You re, okay. 
so there there is okay so there is a kind of um that's nice okay that was what i was wondering um carol didn't call me to give me permissions i literally gave everyone these and uh, grace came back to us and said that you know she found the problem herself so unfortunately we we have not uh fulfilled our quota for the day i don't think oh dear i wonder if there's going to be any oh oh we're actually going into day two that's interesting does that just basically mean i'm going to be repeating it again let me just check this out let me just check this out because it would be interesting if there's going to be new callers coming through then this will be or is it just going to pick up where i left off let's see so yeah, it does seem that it's more based on your ineptitude. Like you have to clock off the day. Your accuracy has been given zero. Um, I I am going to just play it through again. I'm going to give everyone Bs again. And then see, and I'll come back when there's uh, when there's something else that comes up. Thank you. That's strike two with you people. Ah, uh, here we First go. First you tell me there's nothing, then you send me the wrong information. I did what your info package said to do, and now there's even more critters in my yard. They're all staring at me now. They want me to... They want me to... Climb inside the tunnel. I must go inside. <laughs> I must pay for my sins. Wow. Hank, don't do it, buddy. Oh, no. So I wonder as well, then, if you just get everything wrong, will you get fired at the end of the shift because you're just so... You know, you're so incompetent of your job that you're just going to get fired? Is Carol going to go batshit crazy? Um, but let's carry on. Why not? <coughs> hey, yeah, you back brain sent me some info when I was asking for some lawn care. Now my whole family's sick to our stomachs and itchy as all get out. <coughs> Thanks for nothing, jerk. me was useless. These cleaning crooks are still breaking into my house and taking who knows what. The cops won't help, and you're useless. So thanks for nothing. It wasn't Bob from accounting! It wasn't Bob at all! I saw it scurry away! Why didn't you warn me? What is this nonsense info you sent me? Why is it growing bigger? Get away! Stay back! <laughs> So yeah, apparently there is a few um, callbacks when you get the answer wrong. Um, but Carol, unfortunately, just said the same thing. It could be perhaps because it's a demo. I would have enjoyed Carol to say something at the end to kind of reprimand us or tell us that we were welcome in the seventh circle of hell. But apparently not. That wasn't the case at all. But it was uh, it was fun to go through them again and get the um, things wrong. That was Home Safety Hotline. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.